The Giza Plateau in Egypt is one of the world's most well-known historic sites, recognizable at a glance to most people on Earth. But what if the enduring image of the Giza Plateau we know today is wrong? According to some historical records, our modern conception of Giza is incomplete, missing crucial features present at the time of the ancient Egyptians. Could our modern understanding of the Giza Plateau and ancient Egypt as a whole really be mistaken? If features are missing, where did they go? And what other mysteries of the Giza Plateau might be waiting to be uncovered? In order to explore this subject more profoundly, we extend our appreciation to Gaia for granting us the opportunity to freely share this exceptionally enlightening episode with our valued audience. We hope you enjoy it. Ancient Pyramids, the marveled wonders of the world that have mystified and enchanted people of the modern era since their discovery, found on almost every continent on Earth, these impressive structures command a certain reverence. Yet, are these great works of ancient civilizations purely man-made creations? Or did these structures require technology not of this world? The mystery of the pyramids is one that transcends time, civilization, and culture. 80,000 pyramids in the world now. So far, we thought that the pyramids were the pharaoh's tombs, or there are places to do some ceremonials. This is so wrong. What secrets do these ancient structures hide? Even with our current understanding of human history, the creation and purpose of many ancient pyramids is as elusive as it is mind-boggling. It seems to be related very much to do with the idea of an ancient code to be found within the Great Pyramid. It's within the geometry, not just of the pyramid itself, but its relationship to the other two main pyramids of the Giza Plateau. Nothing was done accidentally. I mean, it was, it was all perfectly engineered. All the pyramids that we're rediscovering today around the world, no one has addressed what is the stitching element. The Egyptian Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the most recognized pyramids in the world, comprised of 2.3 million individual stone blocks, amounting to 6.2 million tons. Christopher Dunn, an engineer with over 35 years of experience, began researching the Giza pyramids in 1977. When you start looking at the schematics of the Great Pyramid and the unusual uh, interior design, doesn't represent any kind of structure or building where people would spend any time in at all. And of course, you know, the, uh, the original tomb theory, there were, there were no mummies found in the Great Pyramid, no original mummies found in any pyramid for that matter. They were engineers, they were scientists, they had a lot of skill. There's no way that it was slaves dragging stones on rollers. Today, children are taught in school it took the enslaved builders 10 to 20 years to complete. Yet to achieve this timeline, one block would have had to have been placed every one to two minutes. On top of this monumental achievement in construction, the form and position of the pyramid structure is also an intriguing marvel of the ancient world. Contrary to popular belief, the Great Pyramid is not simply a four-sided structure. Experts suggest a closer look at its unique shape may provide some clues as to the true power and relationship to Earth's motion. Many people don't know this, but in fact, it's not a four-sided pyramid. It has a very slight concavity on each side, making it an eight-sided pyramid. Now, the minute you do this, it produces rather bizarre geometry, produces numbers. Numbers keep popping out. Numbers that shouldn't be there. Things like a universal constant, uh, that has been known for over 100 years. Uh, the phi constant, the golden ratio, but we have now strange numbers like Euler's number coming up in the design. If you take upon yourself the project of building a pyramid and aligning it to true north, south, east and west, you wouldn't make any error at all. There is an error in the Great Pyramid. It's tiny. It's three sixtieths of a single degree off true north. 
This is almost eerie precision because the scale of the monument is so huge. This thing is 481 feet high. It has a footprint of 13, slightly more than 13 acres. It weighs six million tons. It consists of two and a half million individual blocks of stone. You're taking that whole gigantic mountain of stone and you are aligning it within just 3 sixtieths of a single degree of true north. We're not talking about magnetic north, which varies. We're talking about astronomical north, the true north of this planet. It's a very remarkable thing, and that's the north of this planet. Once again, the Great Pyramid is speaking. Chariots of the Gods author Eric von Daniken suggests that this monumental task was only made possible through the use of advanced technologies given to the Egyptians by visitors from the stars. The Great Pyramid is one of the miracles of the world. That's why all the questions come up. Who did it? Why? For what purpose exactly? I again suggest they did it for the gods. And the gods, of course, were visitors from outer space. They taught our ancestors in astronomy, in mathematics. The pyramid was constructed by a technology which Enoch had from the extraterrestrials. The planning, the engineering planning came from the extraterrestrials. Some of the tools came from the extraterrestrials. The dirty work was done by us, by the humans. Matthias De Stefano, who remembers his past lives with clarity, has an alternate point of view on the creation of the pyramids and their potential alien origin. Pyramids are the ancient technology, not only from this planet. In many planets, we used to build these structures because it was a physical way in which we could be connected to the ninth dimensions. The pyramids were organized and built by music by sound. These structures were built all by vibration and frequency, and there were beings from Sirius helping us to build this, these realities, but there were no ships to pull up the, the stones. They were just electromagnetical tools with mm, these magnets, so they could use the water with magnetism to mold the, the, the stones, and then to light it up to the different levels by always vibration of these tune forks. Pyramids around the world are like a big network of computers. All the pyramids in the world are aligned, and what you will find is that the Earth is reflecting the portals of Pleiades, Orion, and Sirius. And the pyramids are aligning themselves so the energy of the sun always can come inside the planet and keep rolling within to activate the whole machine. Thanks to satellite imagery, pyramidal structures continue to be found all over the world, underground, in jungles, under ice, and even under oceans. Though the Egyptian desert sands are a commonly conjured image when envisioning pyramids, these resilient structures have been discovered on every continent, in every climate on Earth. They're finding them in Antarctica, um, all over Serbia. Many, many, many different countries now are coming up with, with pyramids. I spend a lot of time in the jungles of Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Belize, and Mexico. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of pyramids, 250 pyramids in China. Then you ask yourself, hey, if the pyramids are not only in Egypt and Mexico, but all over the planet, on all six continents, what was their purpose? All pyramids in China, 250 of them, are oriented to, to the cosmic north. The oldest, the biggest Egyptian pyramids, north. They do seem to have this connection with each other. I mean, if you look at where they're positioned, it does seem like, you know, this ancient culture uh, we're very knowledgeable of Earth energies and working with Earth energies all around the planet. I think the fundamental purpose for uh, harmonizing the planet, it allows you to relieve stresses in the Earth so that, that it would eliminate the destruction of earthquakes. In addition to harmonizing the Earth's energy plates and grid, Christopher Dunn offered an additional theory in his book, The Giza Power Plant. When we look at the Great Pyramid, especially using Chris Dunn's Giza power plant hypotheses mm -hmm. on how we see it built like a Faraday cage. We see the granite, sandstone, limestone. It's a technology, it's a power plant. We see these acting like 
transmitters for energy. I believe they were experimenting with electromagnetic energy and gravity, much how we're playing around with HARP now. The frequencies are, are generally harmonically coupled, the whole series of pyramids. Because it's using harmonics and it's working with earth energies, the people in the area are going to be affected by it too because we resonate with uh, earth frequencies too. If the earth itself has an energetic connection with pyramids, is it possible that humans too are resonating with these structures? What effect might that have on us? Dr. Samir Osmanagic has studied pyramid science for over 30 years and is credited with discovering the Bosnian pyramids, where he claims to have witnessed their healing properties firsthand. Dr. Osmanagic invited Open Minds host Regina Meredith to experience this for herself deep within the Pyramid of the Sun. We've had so many people telling us that they feel so good, that they had, if they had asthma, once they got out, asthma basically they can breathe. So what we did, we measured the concentration of negative ions. Mm -hmm. In the first underground chamber, it is 43,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter. No wonder we felt so, so good yeah, in there. It's 200 times healthier Amazing. than what we have here. Yeah, yeah. I have for a long while argued that the, the central concept of the pyramids of Egypt, and I think the case is true all over the world, was to do with the transformation of human consciousness. Whatever else the Great Pyramid is, it is for sure an instrument that works upon human consciousness. Nothing in the distant ancient world is ever one thing. It's multi-purpose, multi-dimensional, multi-faceted. Many, many things went on because it's a very sophisticated technology. And so yes, power plant, yes, generate energy, yes, stabilize the planet, connect the Earth grid. We simply need to be ready for the new discoveries. Only then, there is hope for us. It is clear that pyramids were of profound significance to ancient civilizations. Evidence suggests these structures served a variety of purposes, from power stations to portals. By unlocking the secrets of the pyramid, we may open the door to a universe of possibility. Once again, we extend our sincere gratitude to Gaia for graciously sharing this enlightening episode with us. Gaia's dedication to creating content that inspires, informs, and empowers resonates perfectly with our mission. If you're eager to dive deeper into the realms of wisdom and exploration, make sure to click the link in the description to subscribe to Gaia and unlock a treasure trove of eye-opening content, including many more episodes like this one. By joining the Gaia community with the link in the description, you'll also be supporting our own channel, a gesture for which we wholeheartedly thank you.